Bam. All right. Sounds like a good plan. We will see you in about uh, 20 minutes or so. Let's get this thing knocked out here. Get me some uh, New Amsterdam bearings with 28, 23 weight oil. Yeah, you got it, Les. Cookie, can we get some names, please? Yeah, I'm all over it. Hey, I need to do a sound check. All right, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, contestants, how you doing? Glad you could be here. How many people do we have playing today? One. So you're playing with yourself, huh? Cookie, please. Sorry, just type your That name. joke, okay. you always do it, and it doesn't work then or now. Another thing. Are you looking for a seven question tournament game or more like a full 21 question game? We're going 21, yeah. baby. Like what, Jack? Jack. Your buzzer is the letter B on your keyboard. Number two, how you doing? I need a blue. Okay, okay, okay. I got good, you know what? I'm we, we don't have time. We don't have time. Cue the commercial. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. If you don't answer, buzz in. If you don't, don't. But if you buzz, you only got a few seconds to pick one of the choices or you're going to lose cash, all right? Got it. Okay, everybody, be quiet. 86 the desk shop, please. Okay, and go to black, please. Post standby. Okay, ready, come on, go. Okay, here we go. And dial 1-900-TART-D. Okay, say what you will. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Woo! All right! Welcome to the program. Okay, you ready to fly? Time for Blast Off. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. I'm going to check one thing real quick. i got to make sure that the... Volume is working on this. Hmm. Kind of what I was fearing. I think it... I'm hearing it fine here, but I'm not hearing it here. All right. Oh, let me shrink this a little bit, see what I can do here. Oh, it's not wanting to shrink. Very good. All right. The name of this category is Monticello East Side, same diff. And this one's going to be worth $1,000. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. If our third president came back to life during the late 70s and early 80s and was flipping through the TV guide, what show might he assume was about him? Dear John, live from the Lincoln Center, Charles in Charge, or the Jeffersons? That would be Jefferson says in Thomas. Yeah, President Thomas Jefferson might well assume the Jeffersons was about him. Until he actually saw the show, and then you might think it was starring some of his great-great-great-grandchildren. Wow. How about it? Hit me with a category. We just need the technology. Next up, we can rebuild him. This question's gonna be worth $2,001 bills. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. Steve Austin was rebuilt through the miracle of bionic technology, but without it, what would he be missing? Both eyes, right arm, left ear, left eye, right arm, both legs, both feet, both hands, pelvis, or right eye, left hand, nose, right foot? I think it would be number two. Put your left eye, right arm, both legs in. And you shake it all about. <laughs> okay, pick a category. All right, number two. Question three. The category is comic strips and pain relievers. Okay, this one might be a toughie. It's worth three thousand uh bucks. -oh. Okay, get your fingers ready. Let's get Not busy. 3, if you translated their names to English, which comic strip characters might appreciate a couple of pain relievers and an ice bag? Emperor Ming and Doctor Zarkov, Calvin and Hobbes, the Cats and Jammer Kids, or the Bumpsteads? I have no idea. You know what you could have picked? You could have picked this. The Cats and Jammer. Cats and Jammer. That's what's on German word. I guess everything else was English, huh? All 
Alright, come on, hit me. We oh, need a well. category. You're my question for forevermore. Aww. I love you. My question for. The category behind this question is brilliant insight or just poor eyesight. A right answer will get you two G's for this question. Which artist might have placed the following ad? Help wanted a French painter, uh, need impressionable model. You should look good in uh, pastel and be easier to see with the father away I get. Who placed this ad? Monet, Michelangelo, Da Vinci, or Rodin? Impressionable model, impression. What good in pastels? Should have picked this. <laughs> Claude Monet, French Impressionist painter. Oh, ah, okay. How about it? Hit yeah. me with the category. Uh oh. West Gibberish question sniper. time. It's time for a Snipperfish restaurant. Alright, now here's your category for this gibberish question. Prawns, yaks, and Mother's Day. Five grand is the opening value for this gibberish question. Okay, to solve this puzzle, you gotta think fast because every second and a half, I'm ticking off a little bit of cash. Alrighty, Are you ready? let's do it. What cliche does this rhyme with? Schlep prawn the yak, take for others lack. Oh, got it. Go for it. Type in your answer. I can't spell now. There you go. Yeah, I'm one of the few times you can use the words mother and crack in the same sentence and not get punched. Yeah, true, true. Okay, pick a category. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Number six, it's number six, it's. All right, let's see what we're doing here. See if you can say this three times fast. And it looks like you can win a thousand greenbacks for this one. Okay, get yourself set, it's time. If the score is four score to two score, what is the score? 40 to 20, 53 to 23, 80 to 40, or 60 to nine? Uh, each score is, I think, 20 years. 80 to 40. A score equals 20. Mm -hmm. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. The category, Harsh Employment Agencies. You get this one right, you got 2,000 bucks coming at you. Hang on tight, because here we go. If the local employment agency pulled your spleen out of your body yeah, and made it look for a job, which of these would it be best at based on its function in the body? Lawyer, mathematician, airplane pilot, or garbage truck driver? Spleen. I think it'd probably drive a garbage truck. Yeah. Yeah, main function of the spleen is junking cell waste to worn out blood cells. Of course, driving a truck, your spleen might have some problems seeing over the dashboard. It is kind of small. Okay, pick a category. Yeah, man, come yeah. Along to question it. This one's gonna be Star Wars and the Little Rascals. And we are talking 1,000 bucks for this question. Right. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. Princess Leia is to cinnamon buns as buckwheat is to cotton candy, tang, steak, or sticky buns. His hair is kind of sticking straight up, I candy. think. Yeah. We're talking about their hairstyles. Okay. How about it? Hit me with the category. Number nine. Oh, it's it's Here's the category. Roger Rabbit's Nocturnal Missions. And we will pay out $3,000 for this one. Uh, let's see. Fearing an attack by the son of Judge Doom, the residents of Toontown set up a guard post at the city's entrance. If cartoon creatures share the same traits as their real-life animal counterparts, who of the following will be the best entry because he requires the least amount of daily sleep? Magilla Gorilla, Sylvester the Cat, Dumbo the Elephant, or Astro the Dog? these to say up the most? I don't know. Now the correct answer is... Elephants. They sleep only about two hours each day. Dumbo do a Seriously? much better job than their first sentry. When he woke up, his gun was gone, his hands were immersed in warm water, and his shorts were wet. Huh. Alright, come on, hit me. We need a category.
The category is... That'll keep you regular. Right here, 1,000 bucks for a right answer. Okay, hang tight. Put your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. Which of the following ingredients is actually in a box of grape nut cereal? Grapes, nuts, barley, or pits? Nope, this cereal's a eunuch. No nuts. Oh. Too bad you didn't pick Sedge. this. Malted barley and baked wheat. No grapes, no nuts, no pebbles, toenails, ball bearings, boogers, or vermiculite. So basically no points. Okay, we're at the end of round one now. On to round two. <laughs> now pay attention, because all the questions in round two are worth more money. Let's do it. Okay, pick it. Next up, the great tight end in the sky. And we are talking 4,000 big ones. Get your eyes focused on the screen. Spurs like the war butt 60 to 52. If playing football to eat the football, what religious group would not be able to play? Observant Mormons, Orthodox Jews, observant Muslims, or observant Hindus? I think it's pigskin? No, not that one. Oh. Here's what you should have guessed. No football dinner for Hindus. Observant Hindus are forbidden to eat cow, and today's footballs are made from cow skin. Okay. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Uh -oh, Gibberish question times two. Horror. Once again, it's time for a Tinker Lake Test Drive. This Gibberish questions category is... Masochism and the Great Depression. We're in round two, so this gibberish question is going to start off at $10,000. Okay, now remember, the faster you solve this puzzle, the more money you win. Okay, get yourself ready. Here comes the puzzle. What does this rhyme with? A lonely flingly salve to ear. This your hit self. A lonely flingly salve to ear. This year itself. It was said by... Let's see what you got, sir, type... Let us fear not, for a lonely flingly south to ear, fizz year itself. How about it? Hit me with a category. Black cat, heart attack, do your nightmare when you dream? Are you feeling lucky? It's number 13. The category behind this question is, is this supposed to be dangling? Hello, this one's gonna be worth $6,000. Okay, we're coming at you, heads up. Which of the following sentences does not contain a dangling modifier? Smelling like a goat, Sue dumped dead, bleeding profusely, we reattached Ed's arm. By slapping his rat, Ed makes a funny noise, or spraying everywhere, Ed turned off the hose. The introductory phrase correctly modifies the noun following it. It ain't dangling. Yep. Hit it, Ed. <laughs> Thank you, Ed. Okay, I'm the only one disturbed by this. Category. The name of this category is... Gee, what's that smell? I'll pay you $4,000 bills for this one if you get it right. Get ready to buzz, because here it comes. Perfume often contains the valuable and fragrant substance ambergris. What is it? Frog spit, snake oil, sperm whale, excrement, or pig pee? Ambergris? I don't know, to be honest with you. And let's see the correct answer. Accumulation from the intestines of sperm whales. Boy, honey, you smell great tonight. Thanks, dear. It's my new perfume. Oh, the whale crap. Okay. All right, come on, hit me. We need. Uh oh, mess butt tit slime chore. A third gibberish. Once again, <laughs> it's time for a flicker piss no scope. Here's your gibberish category. Horse racing and dessert. The opening value for this gibberish question is going to be 10,000 bucks. Now, you're going to have about 30 seconds to solve this puzzle, but I'm going to be taking a little bit of money away every second and a half. All right, with what cliche does this rhyme? Pat's away. The bookie mumbles. Pat's away. The bookie mumbles. Okay, let's see if you know it. Wow, 
Well, at least I'm doing Looks good at like gibberish tonight. Looks like you're getting right from the oven. Well, honey, careful, my cookie, she's hot! <laughs> okay, pick a category. Question number 16. If it's the fourth one, I'm this walking. This one's gonna be education, <laughs> bad cats, and the weather. Now, you're gonna be pretty good if you get this one. It's worth 6,000 bucks. Jeez. Hang on tight, because here we go. Which of these percentages is highest? American cats are overweight, 1990 tax dollars spent on education, groundhog accuracy over the past 60 years, or part of America that is Alaska? Okay, I'm gonna guess two and four are small. I'm gonna guess accuracy. And here's the right answer. They have been 28% accurate. Yeah, several groundhogs have been hired as weathermen, but they hate wearing ties and keep eating their pointer. Ah. How about it? Hit me with a category. Chicky Jack is gone, let me hear you scream. Ow! It's question 17. The category. What did you call me? I'm paying out $2,000 if you get this one right. Okay, let's get to the bottom of this once and for all. How do you literally translate Farvig Nugent? The people's car, the Fuhrer has landed. The pleasure of driving or made with Nugent? I think it's the pleasure of driving. The pleasure of driving. When all this time, I thought it meant, please tailgate me, for I have introduced an annoying word into everyday English. Well, that's part of it too, I suppose. Right, come on, hit me. We need a kid. Song to I've kind of stumbled across a little Here's bit of the category. Um, a boy and Calvin his and tiger. Hobbes avoid. Six thousand bucks is riding on this one. You know, every boy should have his own tiger, don't you think? Calvin is the Hobbes, as blank is the blank. Garfield is the John. Charlie is the Snoopy. Timmy is the Lassie, or Christopher is the Pooh. I think Shirley is a Snoopy. No? Oh. In case Christopher you're is to about poo? the correct answer. Christopher is to poo. A boy with an unnatural attraction to his stuffed animal. I don't think that's how that works. Okay, pick a category. Alright, let's see what we're doing here. Maybe you do know Jack. And this one's gonna be worth two thousand dollars. All right, maybe you do know a few of them. Let's find out. Which of the following is not a famous type of jack? A deposit of tiny ice crystals, a handheld pneumatic machine for drilling, a solid food made from pressed milk curds, or a precise moderate. scrotum? Okay, three is moderate jack. A deposit of crystals. You never heard of Jack Frost? Who's been nipping at your nose? Oh. Too bad you didn't pick this. <laughs> a phony scrotum, which is not a famous jack. It's really more of a sack. Oh. All right, come on, hit me. Okay. We need a category. Oh, question number 20. The name in this category is... Let's try to I finish strong. a little flat today. And this one shouldn't be too tough. 4K for this one. As you know, every fine actor's dream is to have his or her likeness made into a cartoon. Which of the following primetime shows never made the jump from three dimensions to two? Starsky and Hutch, I Dream of Genie, The Brady Bunch, or The Jacksons? I think it's Starsky and Hutch. Starsky and Hutch. Never made into a cartoon, although you'd be hard-pressed to find a character like Huggy Bear in the real world. Yeah. How about it? Hit me with the category. True, true. Enter the attack. If you see two words together and they form a match, buzz in. $2,000 will be yours if you're right, but each time you're wrong, 2000 shall be taken away. But be not fooled. Remember the clue. It won't be a match unless it fits this clue. Where did you come from? Yeah. Just keep that in mind. Can I, Joe? We are starting. You came from Romania, I think. Transylvania. One of those manias. There you go. Nessie, Scotland. Oh. Of course, I hit Scotland Yard for no good reason. This is clearly Japan, though. 
There we go. Bigfoot. Good luck with this, I don't know. North America, okay. That's her that's her thing then. Pegasus? Greece, of course. Mytho mythological creature. Leprechaun on this iron. I the lucky charms. Mummy is Egypt. Pretty sweet, but the question is, how much did it sweeten your final score? That's the game! Not bad, not bad. Player, when I think of you, I think of superlatives like great, amazing, fabulous, trivia geek with no social life, stuff like that. But don't thank me, because the real truth is... You don't know Jack. One day you're going to be stuck in conspiracy theory and you're going to be wondering what happened. What's the deal with the contestants now? Uh, listen, excuse me. Uh, whenever you feel like playing again, you just got to let me know, all right? It's the new Major Dick action figure. You choose the assignment, mate. All right. And I think that will, um, that would do it for Yodo Jack. Boy, that would do it for Yodo Jack Volume 1. If you like what you saw, Pound that uh, sub button, um, hit that notification bell, and uh, be sure to punch the thumbs up button, and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. This is Ticket Squeeze. Um